Hi guys, it's Carrie Ann from Everything Mom, and this week's book pick is for your teen, the young adult book, The Upside of Unrequited. Now, this was actually a book that my oldest received in an Owl Crate submission, so I have to thank the folks at Owl Crate for sending that along. Even as adults, sometimes we crave something that's light and fun to read, especially when you're on holidays or entering to the summer. And I found this particular book is perfect for that um, summer read, a light, fun summer read for your teen. The premise is uh, Molly, who's 17, has just finished high school and going into summer, starting her kind of uh, first real summer job. With her sister and her sister's friends there is sort of this running joke about Molly and her history of crushes. I think she's at crush number 26. <laughs> but she's never had a boyfriend. And a lot of that I think is Molly doesn't feel she is girlfriend material. From the story we get a sense that Molly is a little on the overweight side partly from her own internal dialogue with herself about how she feels and, and about herself, but also as her grandmother does, says things, says things under the guise of trying to be helpful, talking to Molly about a girl she knows who did th this diet, which was really good for her, kind of think fuels Molly's feeling that she really isn't the type of girl that guys are attracted to and the reason why she hasn't had a boyfriend, uh, unlike her sister, her twin sister, who has not had an issue with hooking up um, and even her friends, um, Olivia and her cousin Abby, who seem to find these boys that they've been seeing and are in happy relationships and she's kind of just on her own. When you're talking about that 17, like 15 to 70, 15 to 18 year old range, it is um, a difficult time and they t we tend to be a little more negative in the self-talk about who we are and I think the impression at that age is what you think of yourself is you make the assumption that other people feel the same way and I think that's what Molly's thinking. Her sister then develops into a relationship with a new girlfriend which seems more serious than the other hookups she's had in the past which then impacts the relationship that Molly and Cassie her sister have had. They, being twin sisters they share everything, they talk about everything but now that Cassie has this new person in her life she likes to spend more time with Mina. Like when you're in a relationship or when you're with friends you're in relationships they want all of their other friends to be in relationships too because you start to do things as couples not as single people and with Molly's sister and her friends in relationships Cassie's on a mission to hook up Molly with Mina's friend. Cassie's dating Mina and Molly dates Will. They'll all be friends for a long time and do all sorts of stuff together. So that's kind of their mission. But on this other side of things, outside of this whole family realm, outside of this, you know, tr the boyfriend challenge, Molly encounters Reed at her job, who happens to be the son of the store owners. And uh, develops a relationship but a relationship not so much as a boyfriend but a relationship in that he's cool to hang out and doesn't feel in inhibited about talking to him because she's not really viewing him as a potential boyfriend it's just a guy and she has a good time with but as the story goes on we sort of see this relationship between her and Reed and the comfort she has seems to grow into a little more for Molly. She's not really sure uh, if Reed feels the same way, though there seems to be behavior and comments between the two of them that makes her think that Reed does feel the same way. So the whole story, it's not going to deal on heavy issues about teen pregnancy and alcohol and drug usage, although there is, you know, drinking in the story. It does have, it does sort of touch on same-sex couples in that and Cassie's parents are both moms and as same-sex marriage has just been 
legalized as one of the sort of a subtle subplot story, not a big one, but uh, that they're planning to get married after they've been a family for, I guess, for over 17 years. And now that the, the two women, the two moms can get married and so everybody's really happy about that. It is fairly tame in that sense. It really is sort of a, a light, fun, it's kind of focused on relationship around Molly. This desire to join the world of having a boyfriend and then her sort of struggle between Will and Reed and where she should focus and coming to terms with moving beyond adding more crushes to her list but maybe taking some chances because playing it safe for all these years has led to nothing so coming to terms with maybe she has to take a chance and risk heartache in the hopes of maybe finding something good. I like the story for that reason. I like that it's kind of light. It is very teen romance, um, but not kind of over the top. It does talk about, you know, the relationships and reinforces, which I really liked, reinforces being yourself, not trying to put on this act of being someone else to impress other people. It touches on relationships in general, like the relationships that we have as friends, with the sibling, and then when boys get kind of in the picture and how some of those relationships change when you move from being a single person into a couple. And also the story touches on other lifestyles in the book. I think the more we expose kids to other lifestyles that people are living around them, the less those lifestyles and, and relationships become sort of odd and different and people look at those individuals as just the individuals and not the relationship status they're in. I didn't read that it was a big focus of the story, but it stood out to me mainly because I don't see a lot of books that we've read that deal with uh, different couple dynamics. The Upside of Unrequited is a good summer read for your teen looking for something light, not mentally taxing. It's just a bit of an escape perfect for summer. So that's this week's book pick for your your teen. I'll actually include a link below to the review for more uh, details on the book and how you can get your own copy of it. And also include a link to one of the uh, unboxing uh, posts and video that we did on the Owl Crate for young adults as well as Owl Crate Junior for tweens. Every Wednesday, I'm here sharing books for kids from infant board books all the way up to picks for your teen and young adult books. Beyond talking about books on Wednesdays, you can also find me here talking family travel, products that might be of interest, mom confessions, and other fun family stuff. So don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next video is published. And until next time, ciao.